Old Smoky White Lightning Moonshine, and Old Smoky Apple Pie. Are these any good? Check out the whiskey whistle. Hey everybody, why don't you come with me to the Scottish Highlands? It's gonna be a blast. Hey all Mark here at Whiskey Whistle on YouTube sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Winnipeg, the center of North America, bringing you Old Smoky. I'm guessing their top two products, the Old Smoky White Lightning Moonshine, get that poured, and we'll try their flavored moonshine, which is their apple pie. This is 35% ABV, the White Lightning is 50%. And sorry about the birds, they're a chirping tonight. And we'll try about half of that. Save a little bit. Oh, I can smell the apple. Wow, apple and cinnamon. Mmm. Now, I think. Oh. Interesting. Okay, well, anyway, let's check these out and we're gonna look at the color of both of them. Yeah. We'll check out the legs of both of them. Then we'll check out the nose, the palate, and the finish for Old Smoky White Lightning Moonshine and Old Smoky Apple Pie. Okay, color-wise, of course, the White Lightning is absolutely white. There is absolutely no color there whatsoever. It's a moonshine. This will be predominantly corn whiskey, um, corn, sorry, corn spirits with a little bit of barley probably to engage the whiskey to ferment and uh, actually produce alcohol. This, however, I'm sure it's got color added, or maybe it's got straight apple juice added. I wonder, I don't even know. It just says apple pie, natural spiced apple cider flavor, white sugar, water, light brown sugar, dark brown sugar, apple, oh, apple juice concentrate. All right, and uh, spirits distilled from corn. Okay, there we go. So it actually does have some apple juice, brown sugar, dark brown sugar, white sugar, um, natural spiced apple cider flavor. Okay. All right, well, anyway, let's start with the, uh, the moonshine, white lightning. Oh, and the legs, 50% um, ABV. This actually should have some nice legs because 48% uh, is where you get some really, really nice legs. So yeah, very slow legs here. But they're, they're tiny, they're really thin, they're really skinny legs. Interesting. And this one should have crazy legs because of the, the sugar content. And I'm shivering here because it's a little bit cold. The sun is nearly setting. I've got about five minutes to finish this. And if you've been watching Whiskey Whistle, you notice that I'm, I'm donning my typical summer hat. I pull that out every summer. And yeah, extremely slow legs and very similar to what we saw for the fireball mistake. The smell for the moonshine. It smells like corn husks. It smells like... Um, like rubbing alcohol there's really no no real defining sense here but a little bit of that corn silky corn husk type of a scent don't get any fruit I don't get any um, any any nice typical sense you'll get from let's say from white dog from American distilleries or new make from um, Scotch distillers where you actually do get a little bit of the uh, distillery character a little bit of the the flavors that will come through in the finished product but the, this one it's really I'm really not getting much of a scent at all anyway let's check the palate out the the taste cheers Now this is where you actually get something out of this. I'm getting something kind of like um, 
stewed corn, corn grits, um, candy corn. And it's pretty pleasant. It's actually sippable, which is pretty nice for a moonshine, I think. Hmm. We're going to add some water. That's 50% ABV, by the way. So we can add a good couple of these and see what happens. And let's try the apple pie while we're waiting. The uh, nose, first of all. Apple. Apple cider vinegar. Apple scratch and sniff stickers. Yeah. Apple scratch and sniff snicker, uh, snickers. Stickers. Hmm. Okay, the palate. Cheers. It's extremely sweet. The apple flavor is working more in the background than the foreground. And I'm getting kind of a... Again, it's like I'm tasting apple scratch and sniff stickers. I'm licking them. I don't really get much um, alcohol at all. And if you do have this at home, make sure that it's far away uh, from your kids because, you know, it just tastes like alcohol with a little bit of a bite. Mm-hmm. Yeah, total easy to drink. It oh, it, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like the apple drink boxes. It's not actual juice. Those little boxes. That's a dead ringer for this. And then add a little bit of cinnamon, actually. There's a, t a hint of cinnamon in here. Spiced apple cider flavor. Pardon me. Yeah, a little hint of cinnamon there. Now, personally, not really into that one. I would much rather have Crown Royal Apple and Crown Royal um, salted caramel and mix those together and make something that actually has a slight little bit of whiskey components in it. All right, so back to the um, moonshine with water now. Nothing, I'm getting nothing here at all, nothing at all. Hmm. But again, the palate is where I'm getting this delicately sweet, slightly candied, interesting, unique flavor here. Now, if you happen to be a vodka lover as well as a whiskey lover, this would be something to try because Moonshine, unlike vodka, doesn't have the category laws where you have to make it sort of neutral. Hmm. Well, all right. Not going to add water to that one. There's no point. It's already at a fairly low ABV. So let's get on to the whiskey whistle. Well, it's a moonshine score for Old Smoky White Lightning Moonshine and Old Smoky Apple Pie. What is that going to be? Well, folks, for the apple pie, it is going to be 63 out of 100. Yep, you heard right, 63 out of 100 for Old Smoky Apple Pie. And for Old Smoky White Lightning Moonshine, it is going to be 73 out of 100. 
You heard it, 73, for this interesting, unusual, smellless, but very tasty moonshine from Tennessee, Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And they have actually a number of stills in a number of locations. They also make some whiskey too. And I'll try to try that at some point. And when I'm down there, I will be sure to visit Old Smoky Distillery. All right, take care, everybody. Glad you joined. Don't forget to subscribe to Whiskey Whistle. Click the bell so you're notified of the future Whiskey Whistles. And if you're in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and Canada, then join the Winnipeg Whiskey Club. WinnipegWhiskeyClub.com with no E. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you'll find uh, the club. And if you've enjoyed this, then check me out on Patreon. Patreon.com backslash Whiskey Whistle. Become a patron, support the channel, and join the Whiskey Whistle crew, okay? Take care, everybody. We'll see you for the next one. Goodbye now. Thanks for watching Whiskey Whistle. Be sure to subscribe, and don't forget to give this video a like, and leave a comment down below. Be sure to stay tuned next time to join me, the host of the show, Mark, as I explore more whiskeys with you. Take care now, and we'll see you next time.